It's possible that 200 million people will see this eclipse. Today, people travel with much greater ease than at any time in the history of eclipses. So is it possible that this eclipse will be the most watched ever in the history of civilization? Because this is America and everybody's got a car. Right. And if you don't drive, you'll have a plane or right. you, whatever. And we all will just gather in this path of totality, this narrow path across the country. Well, Neil, there, there are 12 million people who already fortuitously live in the zone of totality, the path of totality. They get that for free. Yeah, exactly. It's 70 miles wide. It's 2,500 miles long, stretching from Oregon to South Carolina. However, there are an estimated 220 million people. That's more than two thirds of the total population of the United States. 220 million are within a one day's drive, 500 miles of the total eclipse path, which leads one to wonder just how many people either late that Sunday night, the night before, or early that Monday morning, the 21st of August, are going to suddenly decide, hey, let's, let's jump in the car and go and see that total eclipse. So it's mm -hmm. going to be interesting to see. There, there are a lot of, in fact, of the 14 states that are in the totality zone, the DOT, the Department of Traffic, has issued in all of those states warnings as if it were almost like a Category 3 hurricane heading in their direction. Uh, they are warning about major traffic jams, stock up on food because you're going to be in your car for a long time, and even on some of the major interstate roads like I-85 in Georgia or I-5 in Oregon, they're anticipating traffic tie-ups that they have never seen before for all of these people trying to jockey into position to see uh, the total eclipse that day.